Hi, I'm Alan Goodman, and my background is computer science, aviation, marketing, that sort of thing. Uh, over time, it became more and more difficult uh, to sleep uh, continuously. You wake up, go back to sleep, wake up, go back to sleep. And through mutual friends, uh, a number of years ago, I got to meet Barbara and became interested in what she was doing with hypnotherapy. The option of trying to treat it was something that was not natural in my upbringing, but uh, the working with her was really a safe and very, very positive experience in terms of doing something that was unusual. Uh, I got to work with Barbara and go through the process with her of being hypnotized essentially for the first time, uh, an interesting experience by the way, uh, and then we addressed the uh, sleeplessness or the waking uh, over time. The experience of being hypnotized was a very soft experience. Uh, it was interesting in terms of not being as you would see it on television or uh, at the nightclub of being uh, an exciting process where you see people naked or everyone's exploding or something like that. Uh, it was simply a step-by-step -step process of becoming more and more relaxed and more and more in tune with what it is you were there to discuss. Uh, Barbara's a very safe, very positive person to work with something like this. Uh, her voice goes into hypnotherapist mode and uh, it's very soothing, very comfortable, and you feel yourself still in control, but moving more and more into an area of relaxation. So that's how uh, we started and we did uh, a number of things. I was a math major. I was a computer guy. I was an airplane driver. So all of these are very specific, very linear types of activities and occupations. So to move to something that was more spiritual without even being spiritual was a stretch. And it took the trust of someone who was trustworthy in order to let yourself get past these barriers. Uh, it was a very, ex uh, it was interesting as much as anything else that uh, part of you is off to the side watching yourself be hypnotized. And yet, at the same time, you are fully participating in the, the process. Uh, I became a better sleeper. <laughs> uh, the thing that I learned that I have not done enough and, and will do more of is that this process requires homework. It requires commitment on the part of the subject, as well as on the part of the hypnotherapist, to go toward a common goal. You're trying to achieve something, whatever it is, person by person, you're trying to achieve something. And that achievement is not an automatic, it's not a panacea, it's not one switch flips and instantly whatever problem you have is gone but it's a directional situation. You're moving closer and closer toward your potential of being healthier, whatever your definition would be. And it was, uh, uh, it was an interesting experience to recognize that you participated in your therapy. You weren't just the subject of the therapist. Anyway, uh, overall, my exposure with Barbara has been the most positive. She is an extraordinarily committed, extraordinarily sensitive, and extraordinarily safe participant in something like this. Uh, it's a risk for people to do 
because it's not conventional, it's not known throughout the world and practiced uh, nearly as much as other forms of uh, medicine or other forms of therapy, but uh, she's the person that's very, very positive.